Alrighty, hello YouTube, this is Joseph here once again, and today we're going to be playing a new video game that I picked up not too long ago. This is Beam NG Drive. It's a game that's been out on the market for quite a while. I just haven't had a computer that would allow me to run the game at optimal performance up until now. I mean, with a lot of the games, I've seen a lot of games on YouTube over the last probably decade, if not longer, uh, since I started playing with computers when I was a little kid, but... Uh, <clears throat> I played around with it a little bit and, uh, you know, gotten used to the controls and everything to the most degree that I can. But uh, today we're going to be doing the Green Peak route on uh, the Utah map in Beam and G Drive. This is one of the more difficult maps. I've played some of the less difficult routes already, and uh, they, you know, aren't too bad. So. We'll go on and try and do a, a, a more difficult one and see what we run into tonight. So, anyways, let's get started. Pardon me just one moment here. I'm going to expand the visibility for you guys. Alright, let's jump in the uh, cockpit or driver's seat. And what is that noise? Somebody's doing burnouts over there, it sounds like. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> this must be Route 66. So, man. Oh, my goodness. Somebody got their car stuck on the, uh, the bumper pad of the gas station. Well, that's just great. <laughs> so, yeah, there's some bugs in this game, but... It's not too bad. Okay. So, let's see. We're going to have to watch for traffic here. This will go to the outside view. There's a free castering view as well. Get on away from this mess. Turn our turn signal on and just get on out of here. Looks like they're going to have us go... Are they going to have us go on this way and then turn around, or are they going to have us go this route? Because we had a problem the last time we loaded in here. Boy, they don't have us turn around. Just going to get away from that mess. Alright, so they want us to pull in here and pick passengers up, and then we'll go the other direction. Oof. And yes, you can break the bus in this game up to the point where it will not function anymore. It's a physics simulator, so it is, at least in the crash department, very realistic. So you got to be careful when you're driving. I'm going to go and turn my lights on just to have them ready to go. Hopefully we don't hit anything. No, the mirrors don't work, unfortunately. That's the only caveat right now. And I am using one of the baseline mods that came with the game, so... Alrighty, stop the bus. Well, there we go. Pick the uh, passengers up. So, it doesn't show the passengers boarding, but it gives you an idea of building, uh, or picking up passengers, so. <clears throat> Come on. There we go. Alright, which way are they going to have us go? They're going to have us go this way to the right, or are they going to have us go to the left? Looks like they're going to have us go to the right. Thank you for letting us out. <clears throat> Happy Monday to all of you. Hope your uh, week is off to a good start. Mine's been pretty good. Just been busy with work and other stuff like that and preparing for more flight training. So, uh, one of my YouTube uh, subscribers was asking me why I haven't posted anything about Sweet 71 recently. And that's mainly because it's the winter time and I don't want to risk getting the car out in the road salt up here and where I'm at. Snow is a big deal during the winter sometimes and they put a lot of salt out on the roads and you can't have that because it can cause severe rust damage <coughs> to the underbody of the car <coughs> and uh, with it being almost 50 years old you want to try and protect it as much as you can. So it was a southern 
vehicle for most of its life, and I don't want to put it through any more risk of getting corrosion than it already has. So, anyway. <clears throat> Go! <clears throat> Nobody's in your way, buddy. <coughs> Excuse me. Tickle the throat. <clears> throat> Just as, I, as soon as I get up to speed, there's going to be a turn that I'm going to have to make. I guarantee you that. So it's better just to take it slow. No need to rush. <clears throat> Yep, just as I figured. Of course, the turn signal is going to be a pain in the butt to keep on, but... Alright, car, I see you. Go on. Go on. You too, Van? Alright, come on. Come on. Okay, fine, I'll go. Thank you. on this old road. Got a dip up ahead. Ooh, man, that is some serious corrosion or erosion off to our left there. We are in Utah, but wow, that's some serious erosion. We're going to be going up the side of a mountain cliff, it looks like. Rage up ahead. Thank you, but no thank you, Queen Master. <clears throat> There's two brakes. You got a handbrake, which is that little yellow uh, knob off to your left the uh, cone looking thing. If you look carefully, I'll click it a little bit. And then you also have your uh, air brakes, which is down on the floor. I use the uh, handbrake more than I do the uh, air brakes when going down steep grades. Boy, we are going up a cliffside here. We don't run into some serious traffic up ahead, but we'll see. <clears throat> so far, things are doing pretty okay. Boy, look at that view. That's pretty cool. No. Nah. Running into some traffic. Well, 
What in the world? This is crazy. But this was a one way road. Okay, I'm going to pull the handbrake out. I'll wait and see. Wait and see what these guys want to do. Lean the bus. <clears throat> Honk. <laughs> but that is quite something for a view. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's no what nothing I can do about it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just gotta wait for these guys to figure out what they're gonna do. It's not like I'm gonna try and climb that mil that uh, cliff side. I'm gonna shut the engine down, save some fuel. Hopefully, this truck will encourage that other guy to go forward. <laughs> oh my gosh! Car's just sitting there. <laughs> wow. Just wow. Alright, you've taken your pictures. Let's go. <laughs> uh. guys well we'll come back when this traffic moseys along see you guys in a second alrighty so looks like we managed to let the traffic mosey along a little bit so let's give this another try That is a huge cliff off to our side, though. Alrighty, buddy, what you doing? Got more traffic out this way. Ooh, this is cutting it tight. Next truck, or next bus stop up ahead. Utah viewpoint. It's an intersection though. It's either pressing the gas or holding the brake to keep it from rolling back. That is a huge cliff off to our left. I think we got us a tourist in front of us that's taking pictures. That's why we're going so slow. I would go around them, but we do have a chance of a car coming the other direction. So it's better just to be patient and let them move it mosey along. The only time we really need to really propel forward is when there's an accident. <clears throat> Utah viewpoint. I 
old timey bus station. Next one. Parking area next to us. Boy, these are some big cliffs. stop is the building construction site. So we're going to be going into town. Just a moment. And we got the industrial uh, district for industrial ruin. And then we'll hand on over to the Utah airport. Got Green Peak and then it looks like the final stop if not one of. We've got the tourist information office. This is Route 66, Green Peak, Green Route, so... I used to play a lot of driving games when I was younger, so that's why I'm able to control as well as I can on a uh, Xbox controller. Speaking of uh, Xbox, I do have an Xbox One with Forza Motorsport series. If you guys want to see me do some gameplay of Forza Motorsport, let me know in the comments below because I'm kind of looking to start some new content on my channel other than just flight simulation and other stuff like I've normally been doing. But uh, just let me know in the comments below if you want to see some of that, because I do need to get that console up and running again. It's been sitting for a little while. <clears throat> I just got to figure out a way to video share with my PC so I can narrate and everything. Ooh. Use the handbrake a little bit. Boy, these are some deep cliff edges. I'll ride and run along an edge of a cliff. <clears throat> Would not want to drive on these roads in the rain. Keep your eyes out <clears throat> as we're going along, especially on the right-hand side where you can see the ravine. Keep your eyes open as we're driving, especially in front of us, because in this map there is actually areas where there is old abandoned mine shafts and stuff. They're uh, really just for you know scenery appeal, but you can drive on them. Like this whole map is drivable if you really want to do it. You can drive these vehicles pretty much anywhere. We're just doing a scenario campaign right now in the game. 
but uh, you can pretty much drive anywhere. It's a free roam map. I'm just following the area, the uh, arrows, because we're on a, a mission mode. Ooh, those are some big potholes. Wow. Glad I didn't hit one of those. Oh boy, I hear honking in front of us. Well, it's going on up ahead. Might quite another accident. It's not an accident, it's something going on up ahead. Alright, we're gonna play it kinda risky. We don't have time for this. Gotta ride these bumps a little bit. Hopefully we don't hit any rocks. These people that are going the wrong direction on a one-lane highway, I swear. We don't hit any rocks, because if we hit a rock, we're, we're done for. Dude, it's a one-lane highway. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, hush up. <laughs> the AI in this game does not know how to drive at all. But I turned it on just for the humor factor, more than anything. Oh boy, did we find another one? Yep, another guy going the wrong direction. Well, it doesn't stop the traffic, because we don't really have a way around this one. These rocks off to our left, if you hit one of those, you will tear your car up in this game. And at least they're kind enough to kind of pull off to the side so that people who need to get by can. Go, you're clear. Thank you. That semi-truck, oh my gosh. But they also have another map that looks kind of like a miniature version of GTA's San Andreas. Look at this. Look at this ruins over here, guys. Off to our right, or left, excuse me. Let's see, can I... I mean, I can probably zoom into it. Let's see. It may not let me. Nope, there we go. It's kind of blurry, but... Look at those ruins. Wow. Not much left of them, but they're there. Pretty cool. I got a bus schedule to keep, so let's keep moving. Here's the uh, building site stop. Looks like they're building some new structures to replace those old ones that are across the way. Alright, construction crew, here's your stop. Hill. Oh, looks like there's a bridge going. Uh, yeah. Goodness, <clears throat> my speaking today. My goodness, it looks like there is a bridge going up over here ahead of us. So we might either drive under it or drive past it. But uh, they're constructing a new bridge over here, which is pretty cool. Oh, brother. Okay, dude. One-way street, and you're coming this way. Come on around. Come on! Am I really still in your way? How am I in your way? 
<laughs> Not this again. Oh my gosh. How am I in your way? Go, people. Go. Go. Thank you. Wow. Make things so complicated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ugh, oh, man, this AI is just humorous. Just humorous, I tell you. Okay. Now let's look at this construction real quick. Oh. Actually, looks like a bridge collapsed. Wow. Yeah, looks like the bridge collapsed over here. That's not good. And I just did save that. Wow, we almost had a, a bumper smack. Oop, they want us to go down here. Okay. Well, this is going to be fun. Industrial area, I think is what that sign said. Hopefully that's what it said. <laughs> Nothing else. Maybe a one-way road. Hopefully there's no traffic that's going to be coming down this way. Nope, there it is. Joy. Come on around me, buddy. As long as I don't get stuck, we're fine. Just kind of seeing the lay of the land here a little bit. On the right, uh, on the left is the way that we came. All right, I'm gonna turn here. Head on up this way. Now here's the bad side. If you screw up in this game and you reset your mod or your vehicle, you have to start all over on this campaign. So we got to be really careful not to royally screw up, like roll it over a hill or something. But there's two routes on this map. This is the first one. Then we got one more. And uh, I'll probably be making another episode on that one next. All right, industrial ruins. Everybody here for the demolition. Here's your stop. And we banged up that window on the uh, right-hand side a tad, but not horrible. It's just a little bent. <clears throat> Nothing I can't live with. This gives the bus a little bit more character. Probably hit a tree or something when we were moving around. That traffic jam. Ooh, boy. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> oh my gosh. People going the wrong way again. It's too narrow for both sides to cross, but AI is trying to make it work. It's working for now. We have yet to see an accident, though, but it does happen on occasion. Ready to use the handbrake. <clears throat> We're going a little too slow and it just held the brake on. Not what I was hoping for, but whatever. It's really the parking brake, but I'm using it as a handbrake. Because <clears throat> when you're going fast enough, it just kind of clicks.
<clears throat> we got, let's see, we got Green Peaks and Tourist Information up next. So we're going to the Utah airport at the moment. Not sure which one it's going to be. It's probably just a generic airport, but nonetheless, it'll be interesting to see how they model the airport. This is a hill and a half. <clears throat> Got more people coming up on our left. Ooh. Oh boy. Wow. Alright, watch that boulder. No, dude, wait. Wait. Thank you. Bigger vehicle than you are. And yes, glass is modeled in this game. It doesn't have much reflective to it, but it is modeled. And if you get hit hard enough, that glass will shatter. Let's <clears throat> keep it moving, people. <clears throat> No traffic lights, no accidents, and just, just keep moving. Whoa! What's going on up here? Well, traffic's moving, so I won't complain yet. <clears throat> Lots of shrubbery around. Cactus shrubbery. But that's Utah, and all up north in the U.S. I went to Yellowstone for summer two years ago, and for a long time this was all you saw was clay roads and hills like this. This was literally how you traveled up and down Wyoming and some of the other neighboring states. It was an, inter it was an interesting experience, but tell you what, roads like this, you have no signal anywhere. It is no man's land for miles and miles and miles. <clears throat> I mean, there was no signal at all. We, uh, <clears throat> we were out there and the only tower was the National Weather Service for Cheyenne, Wyoming, which was out at the National Park, but between the National Park and the Expressway it was literally nothing but roads like this, minus the pavement. This, this, it wasn't dirt roads like this, but it was literally identical. It's like the first road we were on in the game. Whew. Getting a little fast here. Slow down. But yeah, it's like the main highways on this game. It's like the roads that we were on. Just two-lane expressways. Looks like we got an intersection up here. Let's go on and come to a stop here and make sure there's nobody coming. Let traffic moseying along a little bit. Nope, don't want to back up. Take it out of reverse. Nobody coming. All right. That's a neat little shack there. It's got the American flag. Little cabin. Looks like one of the national parks. Let's see. Is it? Let's see what it says. Mineshaft Valley Ranger Station. West, West Rock Canyon National Park. Pick, take a picture of this. I'm gonna look that up real fast. Let's see what that says, if it actually exists. I'm sure it does, but... 
West Rock Canyon National Park. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll mosey along here. You're gonna get fussy at me for stopping. But, uh, let's see if it comes up with anything. We'll pull off the side of the road here in a moment. We'll, we'll talk about that. I'll pull it up on Safari. See what it says on my phone. Because <clears throat> that's, uh, interesting. Sounds like it's an actual route. Ooh. Okay. Whoa, dude. See, that's what I was talking about, about how accidents happen sometimes in this game. People pull moves like that in the, or the, or not people, the AI pulls stunts like that. And, uh, it'll tear your vehicle up. Alright, hopefully nobody comes in behind me. Let's just, uh, stop here, apply the handbrake real fast. Turn the engine off. Okay. So it says on the, uh, on Safari, it's the Red Rock Canyon State Park. It's in Cantil, California. And it says Red Rock Canyon State Park is a state park in the United States of Cal uh, State of California, which features scenic desert cliffs, butels, or not butels, but B U T T E S, but, butts, I guess, and spectacular rock formations. It's at an elevation of 2,600 feet, and it's an area of 27,000 acres. It was established in 1968. But does it run over into Utah? That is the question. Yes, it does. It does run into Utah. So, evidently, so there's there's Millsite, uh, uh, Millsite State Park. Come on. Trying to load it to where it'll show me without trying to open something else. Come on. Let's just type in Utah again. <clears throat> so there's the Millsite State Park, Dead Horse Point State Park, and Goblin Valley State Park. Uh, they're uh, in Huntington, Utah, Green River, Utah, and Moab, Utah. So, interesting. Evidently, it's modeled off of some real national parks. And boy, is it a busy one today on this highway. All right, let's go. Gotta wait for traffic, of course. I'm gonna turn my blinker on. Probably gonna have me go this way. Yes, they are. Of course, there's gonna be a semi-truck in front of us. Oh, my goodness. Hopefully, he doesn't slow us down too much. Of course, we are a big rig as well, so it shouldn't be a big deal. But very, very interesting. <clears throat> that car is pulling a U-turn illegally. Looks like it's just going to be another transport pickup. Alrighty, Utah Airport. Riders for the Utah Airport. <clears throat> Guess the shuttle for the uh, airport will come and pick them up here. Green Peak. The route that this is named after. All right, buddy, what are you gonna do? Pull U-turn. Okay. 
Wow. Big hill. I got my foot to the floor. We're struggling to get up this hill. Green Peak. Riders for Green Peak. Here's your stop. And those people that are honking can just wait. <clears throat> or unloading passengers. Only so much realism can be given to a game. <laughs> we'll let it slide. It is an older game. Oh, hush, we're moving. That's going on down that way. It's not related to us. And final stop will be tourist destination information. But yeah, these roads like this, this is the type of roads that we would be traveling to go up towards Yellowstone. And uh, if you had a semi in front of you, there was nothing you could do. You just had to sit there and let them take their time. Semi or bus or whatever. If there was a car going slow, there was nothing you could do about it. It was a solid yellow line. You were either going one way or you were going another. There was no in between. And we just had a bump. What just happened? Did we? Sounded like we had a bump. Yeah, I know. I'm just checking to make sure we didn't bump into him. Oh, brother. Looks like they bumped into us. Well, our bus is okay, but their their bumper is definitely destroyed on that car. All right. Well, we'll just say we gave them our office contact information and information of emergency response and all that, the emergency folder. We'll just head on. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Boy, these are some big hills. I got it floored. Okay, so here's one of the mine shafts I was talking about. If you look off to the left here, that's one of the mine shafts. It's abandoned, but you kind of can go in there, but there's a risk of you going off into a uh, riverbed. I went in there once on one of the free roam modes. Not very, um, not very explorable, unfortunately. Still interesting. Wow, look at that view off to our right. That's a big view, wow. Boy, that's a big drop off. All righty. Well, we're almost to the tourist area, I'm sure. Because all these roads lead to parking areas and stuff. At least those two should parking. Oh, 
Alrighty, here's the last stop, tourist information. There's the uh, tourist center, the camping and all of that. Alrighty, let's needle the bus down, turn the motor off a moment, for just a moment. We're going to go park it over there in the uh, tourist area, potentially. Or find one of those side-off areas and call it an evening. If they don't have another stop for us. Nope, that's it. Free room. Cool. All right, let's go park the bus over here in the uh, tourist center parking lot. And uh, we'll wrap this uh, video up. Come on, guys, let's go. Make up your minds. There you go. After you, go on. Goodness, this AI. <laughs> wow. Come on, people. Let's go. <laughs> Not this horn fit again. My word. You can go. <laughs> I'm so glad we're in free roam at the moment because otherwise this would be just utterly ridiculous. Okay. You're not supposed to do this, but we're going to do it anyway just to go on and get this thing parked because I want to wrap this video up. We'll stick to the realism in the next episode. Oh my gosh. <sighs> wow. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> oh my goodness. And another vehicle just spawned in. Oh, lovely. Alrighty, guys. Well, I hope you liked the first video of uh, Beam NG Drive. I enjoyed making it for you. I'll probably be making extra videos here in the future. Over the next, you know, little while. But, uh, just thought I'd give you a quick glimpse. And, yeah, we may not always use the AI, but this is just... Just nuts. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, if you guys like the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.